like and subscribe right now or you're gonna have terrible luck for the next week. The ocean can be a dangerous place. Many marine creatures are armed with deadly hunting skills or deadly defense mechanisms or both. And though these talents are intended to help animals prey upon or protect themselves from other marine creatures, human beings can nonetheless sometimes cross the path of an ocean animal in just the wrong way. Here follows a list of the world's 10 most dangerous sea creatures to humans. Number 10 the Barracuda. The first thing you notice when you come face to face with a Barracuda is its frightening appearance, with its set of ferocious looking fang-like teeth. These fish are found in the warmer coastal regions of the world where there is an abundance of food. Barracuda are known to be an aggressive apex predator and can swim up to 28 miles per hour or 45 kilometers per hour in short bursts. These fish are so sure of their predatory abilities, they sometimes try to battle spear fishermen for what's at the end of their spear. They also occasionally attack humans, sometimes mistaking snorkelers for large predators. But there's no need to worry if you see a barracuda, or even a giant school of them underwater. There have only been 25 reported attacks on humans in the last 100 years, and they will generally leave divers and snorkelers alone, as we are not part of their meal plan. Number 9. The Flower Urchin Flower urchins are listed in the Guinness Book of Records as the world's most dangerous sea urchins for a reason. Toxins from the spines and pedicellaria, which is a small wrench or claw-shaped appendage with movable jaws, cause severe pain and respiratory problems and in some severe cases paralysis. These toxic sea urchins are found in the Southeast Atlantic and the Indo-West Pacific. They make their homes in sand and seagrass beds in lagoons, shallow bays and coral reefs. Flower urchins are beautiful but take care not to touch, step on or brush up against one while diving or snorkeling as it could prove to be fatal. Animals such as sea urchins which injure in self-defense are one of the reasons you should never touch the coral reef. Number 8. The Stingray the most notable characteristic of a stingray is its flat, roundish body which glides effortlessly through the water in a wave-like motion, but they are named for their secret weapon. Located in their tails are venomous spines which, when activated, are extremely dangerous. These spines can be up to 17 inches or 43 centimeters long in some species. Spines can penetrate a protective boot or even a small wooden boat when launched with the full force of the stingray's muscular tail. Just like the other animals on this list however, stingrays are not generally dangerous and will only sting when disturbed or stepped on by unaware swimmers. In 2006 a large Australian bull ray was responsible for the death of the world famous crocodile hunter Steve Irwin. In a freak accident, the animal's spine went right through Irwin's dive suit and penetrated deep into his chest. Number 7. The Cone Snail Here's another small but deadly creature. The cone snail may look like a standard snail with its cone-shaped shell, fleshy foot, head and tentacles, but take care, avoid all contact with these animals. They have a harpoon that can penetrate dive gloves and inject a very dangerous toxin. It varies from case to case, but the toxin can cause pain, muscle paralysis, blurred vision, respiratory illness and even death. Needless to say, if you come in contact with a cone snail, seek medical care immediately, which might be too late if you're unlucky enough to be stung by the cigarette snail of the Indo-Pacific. This tiny snail, roughly the length of a man's thumb, has a toxin so strong that you would only have time to finish one cigarette before dying from the attack. Number 6. The Portuguese Man of War Another name for the Portuguese Man of War is Floating Terror. It has a jellyfish-like appearance, though it's not a jellyfish or even a single animal. Rather, it's a siphonophore, an animal that consists of a colony of organisms working together. Resembling an 18th century Portuguese warship under full sail, the creature is recognizable by its purple balloon-like float. They live sometimes in groups numbering greater than 1,000 in warm waters around the world. They have no independent propulsion and rely rather on the wind or currents for movement. 
Tentacles on a man of war can be up to 165 feet or 50 meters long and use venom spewing cells to deliver painful neurotoxic stings. These tentacles sometimes detach from the colony and can wash ashore or drift in shallow water, still able to deliver a nasty sting. Symptoms of the sting include severe pain and red welts at the site of contact. In rare cases, the venom can mimic an allergic reaction and can cause cardiac disease and respiratory problems. It's estimated that 10,000 people get stung by the Portuguese man o' war each year. Number 5. The Stonefish Our oceans are full of toxic creatures, but the stonefish holds the title of the most venomous in the sea. These bizarre looking fish are found in rocky or muddy bottoms of marine habitats in the Indo-Pacific region. Stonefish are masters of disguise and typically come in orange, red, brown and yellow. Their skin is textured to resemble surrounding coral or rocks, hence the name stonefish. These fish are masters of camouflage and will not attack you, but if you step on one by accident because you didn't see it, you will be stung by 13 spines that line its back, all containing venom. A stonefish sting results in pain, swelling, temporary paralysis and can even lead to heart failure. The good news is that due to the number of people accidentally stepping on them, an anti-venom was created in the 1950s to prevent the worst from happening. Number 4. The Saltwater Crocodile All the other animals so far on our list are incidentally dangerous to people. They attack in self-defense or by mistake. Not so with the saltwater crocodile. Reaching lengths of almost 23 feet or 7 meters and weighing in at 2,200 pounds or 1,000 kilograms, this large reptile is a formidable predator. Saltwater crocodiles are found in warm seas from India's east coast to Africa, Southeast Asia and Northern Australia. They are currently an endangered species threatened by illegal killing and habitat loss. Saltwater crocs were widely hunted for their skin in the 1970s. Of all the crocodile species, the Nile crocodile and the saltwater crocodile have the strongest tendency to treat humans as prey. They are very territorial and will become aggressive toward anyone who ventures too close and will actively hunt people in their vicinity. They have extremely powerful jaws with rows of teeth 5 inches or 13 centimeters long and are able to inflict nasty wounds on their victims, often fatal. Although these animals are undoubtedly dangerous and are branded the most dangerous animals in Australia, they typically kill an average of only two people a year on that continent. They are responsible for around 1,000 human deaths each year worldwide. Number 3. The Blue Ringed Octopus Do not be fooled by this cute little creature and its psychedelic coloring. This tiny octopus can kill you, and fast. Native to the tidal pools and coral reefs of the Pacific and Indian Oceans, Blue Ringed Octopi hide in crevices and shells. When threatened, their tiny bodies pulse with bright blue rings, which appear as a signal to the potential predator to stay away. It's hard to believe that a creature this small, they are only 5 to 8 inches or just 12 to 20 centimeters, packs enough venom to kill 26 people within minutes. Just for comparison, their toxin is 1000 times more powerful than cyanide. Encounters with these creatures are rare as they tend to hide away during the day. If you do happen to see one, make sure to look, but do not touch. Just admire it from a distance because there is no anti-venom. Number 2. The Box Jellyfish The box jellyfish, a transparent and almost invisible creature, has caused more deaths in Australia than sharks, snakes and crocodiles combined. Box jellies live primarily in the tropical waters of North Queensland, Australia and throughout the Indo-Pacific, though various species live in the Atlantic and East Pacific Ocean all the way to California. They have a squarish box-like bell that gives them their name, and they grow to around 12 inches or 30 centimeters in diameter. Tentacles can grow up to 10 feet or 3 meters long. They may not look dangerous, but located in their tentacles are tiny darts loaded with poison. Humans who have been stung can go into shock and drown, or die due to heart failure before they have the chance to reach the shore. 
While fox jellies don't hunt humans, they are difficult to see in the water, resulting in swimmers accidentally brushing against their venomous tentacles. One way to avoid being stung is simply to wear a wetsuit or stinger suit, which are great for warmer waters where a wetsuit is not required but protection against box jellies is important. Many swimming beaches in Australia also post signs to warn of box jelly season and instruct swimmers where to enter the water, if at all, and to wear stinger suits for protection. Number 1. The Great White Shark Who can ever forget one of the greatest horror films of all time? Jaws. Needless to say, after the movie premiered in 1975, great white sharks have been portrayed as the death machines of the ocean. This apex predator with its tornado shaped body and razor sharp teeth can glide through water at 37 miles per hour or 60 kilometers per hour. Great whites are the most dangerous shark to humans with about 320 recorded attacks ever. Of those attacks, there were 52 fatalities. Great whites typically attack their prey from below, delivering a massive bite that can be fatal to humans. Research on these creatures has shown that they are often misunderstood, however, and are far from the killing machines they've been portrayed to be. Attacks on humans are often a case of mistaken identity, as surfers and swimmers sitting on boards can look like their favorite meal from underneath, namely seals. The truth of the matter is that, aside from some isolated cases, most of the dangerous ocean-dwelling creatures are not aggressive towards humans simply because we don't form part of their menu. If you follow safe marine protocols when diving and are aware of your surroundings when swimming, you are far more likely to perish from falling off a ladder than falling prey to a shark or marine snail. If you like this video, please make sure to hit the like button. And to get notifications when our new videos drop, please subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching and until next time, stay curious.